Okay, who has played Marvel Contest of Champions? For I haven't. But today, we will take a look at the recently released Hot Toys Random Pool. Look at the boss, it's huge. We have Random Pool looking at us up to no good. Like other video game series, the cover art covers all three panels. Then we have the other info and the details of the production team in the back. This is the special edition, hence we have the special edition label with the extra head sculpt. Also notice the black area are texture, raised. The shoulder, look at it, feels nice. The same with his eyes and other blackened area. Looks pretty cool. To also give you a better idea of his size, I placed it against Endgame Thanos box, which is slightly taller but thinner and narrower. This should give you some decent idea. Everything is placed nicely on the tray. The figure, the accessories, the tongs, the fist, it's all here. Then on the second tray, you have the venom tentacles, the katanas. Cool. The scope is right on. As he captures his nasty with his tongue wiping around. The pink application is your hot toy standard with the red and black comparable to your standard that pool. Look at those teeth. You can see the stain at the root and as each gets lighter towards the tip. Look at his mouth. You can also find the deep purple instead of the back. Very nice shadowing. Amazing details. The costume is basically a flexible rubber suit over a specially designed base body. I find the rubber material similar to Hawk of Thanos' arms. With the details and muscle nicely sculpted onto this rubber suit and then painted in red and black along with the silver staples all over his body. Looks quite nice. And also, the rubber suit is not tightly affixed to the base body, there's space in between. So this allows you to do a lot of posing, squishing, quite nice. When you look closer, you also notice the purple wings popping up on the shoulder, on the black. Very, very nice details in that, indeed. Okay, you can see his app. Very nice details in his neck. All the shadowing. Nice pink work. So Hot Toys are very good for the pink application, so this time, no difference. Okay, then onto the back. You notice spots where the venom are kind of popping out from his spine. Very interesting. Yikes. Also, again the purple wings. It's just very mesmerizing. And then on the arm, you can see the shadowing of the muscles and the forearms. Pretty cool. And then you have a shackles for his wrist and ankle. He's also wearing a belt with uh, pouches. Nicely painted and weathered. They're not open, they're hard plastic. And of course the Deadpool belt buckle. Alright. Squishy. Nice abs. The lower body basically is just uh, rubber pants. Again, the purple wings on the details. Nice. And then the ankle joint. Very nice. We have a total of eight handshakes this time. Spotting the Deadpool red with the nasty 
black fingernails. Almost like claws. First, we got a pair to hold his katana. Details on his veins are pop up and nicely painted shadow. Then a pair of relaxed palm. Well, as relaxed as they can be. Holding the oversized smartphone. Again, the details are quite nice. Then we have a left hand to hold his gun. I think the fingers are quite soft, so it makes it easier to put the gun in his hand. So you don't have to fight against it, it's quite nice. Also the lovely details, and then the shadowing. Then another left hand with the pointy fingers. Okay, he'll show you something. The black fingernails are very interesting. To finish off, we have a pair of fists. Okay, your standard affair. For Venom Pool is a huge guy. He has huge weapons. As you can see, the size difference against regular Deadpool weapons. Look at his gun. The size of it is just like three or four times larger. So this time it's painted in silver. You got a spring-loaded slide back. You got removable magazine, painted bullets, decent. So interesting, but I don't think anybody else can use this gun because it's so huge. Then you have a smartphone, also much larger by comparison to others. You have the sticker, urgent call. And then the Deadpool logo on the back. Okay. And the katanas. Similar to Deadpool, he has a pair of katanas. But this time, they are made of plastic. And also, although it's nicely painted, but it felt more like a cartoonish when you compare it to the metal katana blades from Deadpool. So you look at that. Well, it's still nice, but it's just, it's just like cartoonish, it's like game. Then we have two of his random tentacles. Two long, black, grungy plastic with a wire inside to help shape it. Nothing much to it. There's also a base at the end where you can attach it. But make sure it's shaped in a semi-circular. Let me focus. There you go. It's not a real circle, it's a half circle. So you align it and then you poke it in. It should only connect one way. Okay. Let's do the same with the other one. There you go. Okay. Once assembled, we can see how to attach to his back. There are actually four holes nicely covered by plugs. Two on each side and a pair on top and another pair on the bottom. Okay. Once located, I just tap the silver staple to remove the cover. See? Let me remove the other one. Also find the silver staple thingy. Okay, right there. Okay. Now all four holes are exposed. You just pick whichever two you want and affix to that. Okay, you can either affix to the top or bottom. I'll prefer the top one. Again, make sure you align the shape as it only goes in one way. Don't force it. Okay, let me find the hole on the other side. Okay, once it's in, you can twist the tentacles around into various shape and form to make it more looks more alive and badass. 
For the special edition, you get an extra head sculpt with its mouth closed. Same amazing details if you ever tire of Venom Pool yapping his trap. Well, you see the shadowing on the back. Oh, nice. His teeth. Very nice indeed. We, of course, have the regular scope, where you can stuck the tongue into the mouth. Well, unlike most of your first dates. And he does come with two sculpt tongues, painted in deep purple. See right here. Sorry guys, tongue is hot plastic and does not offer any tongue actions. But it's painted real nice though. Find the opening. Maybe it's hard to see, but just align the opening and plug it deep into his mouth. Okay. Once it's steady, it's good. And in case you don't like his eyes, you can change it. His tongue look pretty back, huh? Okay. Basically, they have the same magnetic design as that pool. Just pull his eye out and put the new one in. There's a magnet there. It's not very strong, but it gets the job done. Okay, simple enough. There you go. Articulation is pretty good, and you can also pop his shoulder for additional range. Just pull it out. There you go. Up, down, 360 rotation. Pretty nice. And you don't have to worry about scratching the paint or anything like that. Then you have your standard hat on neck joint. Okay. And again, the suit is real loose, so you don't have to worry about uh, pushing back or bounce back. There's the section. Also, most of his joints are gear ratchet, so they kind of hold very nice. However, he is attached at the waist by ball joint for the top and bottom half of the body. So you might expose it if you bend over. Also, it's kind of wiggle, but not as bad as Thanos. So it's okay. Also nice that the sculpted muscle and details on his suit kind of cover when you bend his elbow, so it doesn't look as bad. Like as in Thanos, when you bend his arm, it looks like it's folded rubber. The same with his knee, double knee joint. Oh, so it doesn't look that bad. And basically, he is wearing a rubber pen, so his lower body portion is quite agile in that sense. I'm still not 100% sure about this figure. It's not your typical Hot Toys collectible. But it's an interesting cross between Venom and Deadpool. And of course, if you're a Deadpool fan, then the choice is easy. Let's move on to likes. It's a video game character and supposed to look silly. But Hot Toys did capture it with the special body, the highly detailed and nicely painted rubber suit. Kudos. Even with the rubber suit, the articulation is decent, and you could have a lot of fun posing it. On the negative, we really don't have much to say. Instead, I would like to think of it as a toy instead of a collectible. Plus, its Hong Kong market price dropped 20 to 30 percent on day one, thus making it more affordable. So. I hope you enjoy this figure because it's a niche figure and not for everybody. In closing, I have one question. No, not where is Gamora? 
but when will Hot Toys release an actual Venom 6 scale figure instead of these various teases? We have enough. Let's bring it on. So until the next unboxing video, happy collecting.